What is up everybody, Escape211 here, and we're on the test server. Uh, I'm playing around with Asami, the beam pilot, the new beam pilot, um, with this loadout that I played with earlier. This is previous footage. Uh, this is the setup that I think is probably the best for if you're gonna go the beam route, a max panther, max stage beam 16. And then we got the damage implant, the duration implant, the um, uh, reload implant, and uh, the uh, cooldown. Now, I know a lot of people like to do both of the uh, mag and the uh duration or no no the mag and the reload for this weapon just because it allows you to do com almost continuous fire forever which is true and that's very strong i would agree that this, that's a great one uh personally for me though i i thought that's uh hard to achieve because first of all you're gonna have a limited number of mechs that are 32 energy that will be able to put out the damage with the stasis beam 16. Uh, and Panther and Guardian are probably your best. Guardian is really strong in terms of being a tanky body, so that might be better for continuous fire, but even he is eventually gonna take too much damage and die. So I thought Panther with his shield was gonna be the best. So, um, and, and you're gonna have times where you stop in between, right? When your shield runs out and you gotta duck for cover, so you're gonna have plenty of time where you're pretty much up almost all the time, but sometimes when you need to just back down and wait for um, your shield to charge. And since that's kind of the bottleneck, I figured its duration and its cooldown would be the best for making sure you have that shield ready for when you need it and when you got to put it up and, and get back out in combat. So this has been my favorite build and setup to use if I'm going to use this beam stuff. Quite honestly, though, I'm probably not going to. And I don't know anyone who really <laughs> most. Well, I know some people who are going to use it. Um, it's definitely good and strong. It honestly reminds me of dual carbine 12s in, term, in terms of damage output, but it's got longer range, better accuracy and the stasis effect. So it certainly is better. But uh, I think when we're talking about the amount of resources typically you need to invest in the time to make a build like this you're you might be better off spending on more meta stuff like disc launchers rail guns rocket mortars all the typical stuff that you would do typically first before you do this kind of build um so there's definitely people who like this and and that's great i'm just saying in terms of overall meta builds that people do they probably won't run something like this but at any rate, um, this is what I think would be the best build. And uh, I also just wanted to comment um, while this footage is going about the Asami event, the development derby they did. To me, it was a total fail. <laughs> it was one that uh, they, they it was way too short. It was only a day. I don't think they've ever done an event that short before, and it's impossible to complete. I tried my best to complete it and was down to just an in-game purchase, which I'm not gonna do, or getting two friend referrals. And I don't know if you try to do that, but I did it the way I usually do and the way I've explained it previously in a video, and that didn't even work for me. Um, even when I tried to take it to Division 9 as the new player and do all the tutorial stuff, it didn't matter. It just did not work. Um, the only person I knew who got it work was my buddy Mixfant, um, who was one of the other partners. Uh, he got it to work for one account where he did it with a brand new device, and it worked for that. But then when he tried to reset uh, and create a new account with it, it didn't work the second time. So it seems like you literally needed two brand new devices that you could do this on. And to get that in a day is just exceedingly unrealistic. So, you know, and, and really it's just trying to fulfill their two basis requirements for their stats, right? They only care about downloads and their revenue. So that's what those two things were based on. And it's still only a chance at getting it. It's not really getting this pilot. So I was really bummed out that I couldn't even complete it to get a chance for it to take a spin. But uh, in, in honesty, it's not a huge loss. I don't think this is a pilot I'm gonna care a whole lot about. There's gonna be more legendary pilots and they're gonna be ones that are better for the weapons that we all use that will come eventually. So that's what I'm looking forward to and just uh, enjoying playing around with this on the test server for now. Um, knowing that it's just, you know, it's it's a fun build. It's a solid build. I think it's great. I just know that meta wise, it's probably not one I'm ever really going to rely on. But that's my thoughts. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think about this build and about Asami. If you plan to get her, if you plan to use her, what you plan to use her for, or if you're someone who's going to use this kind of beam set up uh, for end game. So uh, yeah, curious to hear your thoughts about it if any of you got it but otherwise we'll see you out there on the battlefield <laughs> 